like to get your views on where you think the future for African capital markets lies because for instance we hear that Nigeria in terms of its growth strategy and its infrastructure projects has to launch a 500 billion dollar bond okay to do that in the current investment climate this is in itself a challenge but to do that with volatile currencies such as the Naira the South African Rand itself adds to the risks of those kinds of investments and adds to the cost of the capital where do you think the future lies I think the future is bright, and I'd like to go back to a few corrections. The, the currency Naira is not a very volatile currency. In the past one year, you can predict Naira has been fairly stable, plus or minus 3 to 4 percent volatility. I, I think it's predictably stable. Now, for raising capital, you know, capital markets wide, or let's look at it in the context of the bond market we're talking about, it's not too Yes, is the world at this point in time, investors' appetite is drying up, but we think that given the nature of the economy, like I said, for like the Irish economy is raising money where, dollar, where the oil crude is doing fairly well, depending on the country's reserve and the country's credit, credit rating, etc., it could. For Nigeria, the, the, the bond market is looking, beginning to look exciting. We think the central bank governor and his colleagues in government are working to make it more attractive. For Africa generally, I think uh, to the extent that no, no African country had defaulted in the bond market, I think uh, lends credence to the fact or gives impetus to the fact that we should be able as a continent to raise money. But for Nigeria, the infrastructure, the capital, capital bond fund, funding we need to fund our infrastructure development programs, I think uh, we can do that through a combination of capital market initiatives, partnership with uh, with uh, the private sector in Af Nigeria and across Africa. We have a few ideas, a few developmental institutions, finance institutions that are interested in funding African projects too. Now you also have a presence in Europe and in New York and in China. Let's talk about the Western markets first. I mean, how are you approaching that kind of environment when so much is being said about the need for better regulation and we've seen so much in the form of quantitative easings where the governments had to come in to inject liquidity in the system. Do you think it's prudent to be there at this time? Yeah, we think it depends on what is driving the objective of the, for, for the institution. For UBA, we have present in Europe, in London, um, London Investment Bank, and then in Paris, a rep office. In New York, we have a full-scale operation in New York. Uh, but in Paris and London, it's more of supporting trade, trade business. London has been a trading partner with Nigeria and Africa. Paris is a French capital trading partnership with a lot of Francophone African countries. Since we are spreading across Africa to support our customers in these local economies, we need to have strong presence in these places. And so for us, it's not more of being embedded in those countries. It's more of facilitating trade. In the U.S., we are embedded, fairly embedded, about doing wholesale business and not retail. So we don't accept retail deposits in the U.S. It's more corporate type wholesale transactions. All right. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I'd like to probe your mind in terms of your vision for Africa, your leadership strategy, and also talk about that relationship that you've developed with the Chinese. Uh, is it a saturated market? Is there, are there lessons to learn in the morality of Chinese investment? Our guest tonight is Tony Elumelu, who is the CEO of United Bank of Africa, which has a footprint in 19 African countries, some in Europe and also in China. It is the 10th most capitalized uh, company on the Nigeria Stock Exchange. It's managed to escape the very controversial uh, audits of the Nigerian Central Bank and has its reputation intact. Tony Elumelu regarded as a pioneer and also been named African Banker of the Year. You're watching Captains of Industries. Stay with us.